So way back in April 2014, Clyde's Bank were fined 20.7 million by the regulator. So why were they fined 20.7 million pounds? Well, there was kind of four, I guess, main reasons. First reason was that it was maladministration of claims submitted by people to try and get the PPI back. So there was that. Uh, it was the case that they weren't correctly calculating uh, compensation on credit cards. They were only calculating back to 2000 and not taking it before that. So people were substantially short in terms of what they should have got, sealing records. Um, I used to work for the Kleister Bank many, many years ago, but I knew how the records were retained. And what the Kleister Bank were doing was concealing paper records, but they were also concealing what you would call structured data. In many cases, this structured data was microfiche. One final other thing that the Kleister were doing correctly was they were misleading the Ombudsman in terms of deleting records and saying the records weren't actually in existence. The fine for us was the result of Four years of work personally for me and for Beat the Banks and during the four years we engaged the help of Glasgow Herald. We're in there, oh, I don't know, 16, 17 times in Glasgow Herald. In addition to that, uh, we enlisted local MPs and we liaised very, very closely with the FCA and ultimately, as I say, this resulted in the record fine at that time of £20.7 million. So if you've been missold, PPI, by the Clydesdale or by the Osher, we would say, look, get in touch, um, have a word with us and let's see what we can do.